Hello and welcome to another awesome video. Today we're going to be talking about the integration, differences and similarities between Logzone and Control 4 and how to get the best of both worlds. Now let's start from the top. The similarities between the two systems are quite apparent because both of them are automation systems and both of them can be used to control your lights, your shading, with the audio, access control and much more. And both can also be used in commercial or residential spaces. What a system 3 d defa is their main application and what they are very good at. For example, Control 4 are uh, very well known for their bespoke high-end cinema rooms and the full AV uh, solution. And Loxone are more well known for their flexibility and when it comes to integration anything from your light switches all the way down to a BMX system or a very optimized energy management system. Now, a few use cases that you might want to consider when we're talking about this integration between the two and why we'll actually go through that hurdle just so we can have two systems working at the same time. Let's say you already have control for it that is controlling your blinds or is controlling your cinema and it's working very nicely. But right now you are thinking about the energy management side and you're thinking about adding batteries, adding PV storage and much more to your system. You obviously want to optimize all that energy that's going into the house and what best way to do it but add a MIDI server and a couple of devices in the background and make sure that we're not wasting energy all your heating is being used at the correct time of day and the house is always going to be at the perfect temperature because of the intelligent learning in the background or for example you do have a Luxon system and you really want to have a high-end cinema room in your house and you don't want to use a lot of functionality so for example whenever you go and want to integrate with your sky queue you want to integrate with any av matrix the easiest thing to do is have control for automated on that side and simply send signals to the mini server to say whatever the TV is on, shading down lights on a very dim setting and just prepare the whole room for entertainment night out. Now, without further ado, let's jump into config and look at some examples of how we actually go through the integration. Okay, we're now in Logs and Config and let's look at a couple of examples. I've created a very simple living room with a few lights, heating controls and shading and we're going to look into what we can do with our information. Now, what we want to do is obviously we want to be able to send and receive commands from our mini server to control four and vice versa. So what we're going to do in our example is we're going to be controlling curtains. Now, the curtains would already be integrated with control four and we don't want to add any additional cabling. We don't want to add any additional devices. We simply want to be able to send a couple of commands from the mini server to the control four controller and then tell the curtains when they need to open and close. And that way we can make use of the automatic shading function block that already exists within the mini server. And that is going to based on the positioning of the blinds and based on where the sun is actually shining on them or not, tell them when they're supposed to open and close or shade throughout the day automatically without any of your input. So what we're going to need to do to send commands to control four is quite simple. And here on the left hand side under the mini server we have virtual outputs we want to create a virtual output we're going to give it a name name it anything you want but this is where we're going to be sending commands to control 4 or you can simply send say send to c4 something simple for you address is going to be just the ip address of the control for controller and you're going to have a port that by default is 5454 but you can change it to anything you want cool and now this is where we're going to be sending the commands to now let's actually create the two commands click on virtual output command give it a name i'm going to call one of them open curtain and in here on the command for on is where the important bits actually go so in here we're going to put a backslash and then i'm going to call my command open curtain but now the important part is that whatever you name this in here it should be exactly the same under the composer side in control 4 because under control 4 whenever you're using the generic tcp driver it's going to create endpoints and it's going to be listening on these endpoints 
and it needs to see that exact endpoint to be able to receive that information and know what to do with it. So if you have it in here with lowercase or you've misspelled it in here, don't be confused about why this is not working. It's not working because it's not exactly the same spelling. So it is case sensitive and you need to make sure that everything is exactly the same on both sides for it to actually work. So open curtain and then I'm going to create one more command that I'm going to call close curtain. There we go. Obviously rename this one as well. And now everything else is just as you remember it. Close curtain is going to go to close, and open curtain is going to go to open. Save in the mini server, and we are ready to go. Now, whenever the mini server decides that we need to shape, it's going to send that command to control 4 to this IP import and is going to tell it either close curtain or open curtain. And then what is going to happen on the control for side is going to be listening for that command. Whenever it sees the command, we're going to create a small automation that is simply saying this command equals open curtain, close curtain, and the action is going to execute itself. Amazing. Okay, quite easy, wasn't it? As you can see in the video, it doesn't take too much. We just need a couple of inputs and outputs to be able to send and receive signals from the mini server to the control for uh, controller. And in terms of configuration, it doesn't take too long. It is not too complex. So pretty much anyone that has experience with either system or both should be able to set it up and running. With just a mini server and a simple driver on the control for side, you can now have the two systems speaking together and being uh, used simultaneously rather than them being just two standalone solutions. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment about what you'd like to see next. And up to next time. Cheers. Bye.